Hey friends, it's Peter, and it's time once again for another edition of Peter Ponders. Today I want to talk to you guys about a topic that's very important to me. Friendship. I have many friends in my life, and I don't take a single one of them for granted. There was a time in my life where I felt that I had no friends at all. And ever since then, every friend I've had, I've considered special. And while I love seeing my friends, and I love hanging out with them and catching up, there are circumstances that come up that prevent that from happening. This is something that's been going on in my life ever since 1993, when I first started going to school and having friends. The first time in my life I had to bid farewell to friends was when I moved from preschool to kindergarten. Besides two friends, I did not attend elementary school with anybody in my preschool class. From kindergarten through high school, I saw various friends come and go. Friends would leave mostly because they had to move out of the district for one reason or another. Some friends decided to take part in homeschooling, while others transferred. Even in college, I had to say farewell to friends. In particular, during my sophomore year, two of my best friends ended up transferring around the same time. And easily the two biggest events in my life that led to friends moving on were my high school and college graduations. When I graduated high school, I was the only one in my graduating class that ended up going to Simpson College. And when I graduated from college, I was one of only a handful of people to settle down in the area where I currently live. Even today, I still see friends departing for various reasons, though today it's mostly because they either get a new job or they decide to go to school elsewhere. And while I'm very happy for my friends and all that they're accomplishing in their lives, I have to be honest about one thing. I miss all of them. Now, thankfully, in today's technology-driven world, there is a way to keep in touch with friends, and that, of course, is via Facebook. However, Facebook has a problem in that it's not the same as seeing someone in person. Yeah, Facebook is good for keeping in touch with people, but it's not the same as sitting down at a restaurant and catching up with someone and enjoying a meal together. Over the past couple of years, I've been very fortunate to reunite with a couple friends in various ways. About two years ago, I was able to reunite with a friend of mine from elementary school who I hadn't seen in over a decade. We had a very nice lunch together, reuniting and catching up on old times. Likewise, just a few months ago, I had a phone conversation with a friend of mine who I haven't seen since high school. We spent over an hour chatting with each other, catching up, and talking about where our futures may be headed. Those reunions with my friends were amazing, and it's something I would love to do more of in the future. That's why, this year, I've decided to set a new goal for myself. I want to reunite with as many of my friends as possible. Whether I haven't seen them since college, high school, or even elementary and junior high, I want to reunite with as many friends as I can. So friends, consider this your open invitation. I would love to see you this year. Whether it be me visiting you, you visiting me, or us meeting up at a mutual place, I would love to see all of you. And the best part is, my friends, I'm not picky about what we do. We could go out and grab a bite to eat somewhere. We could go out and enjoy a location somewhere. We could even go skydiving. At, uh, well, maybe not skydiving because that's kind of scary. But you get the idea. So, friends, I'm hoping I can make this the most awesome year I've had in a long time by reuniting with most, if not all of you. I hope you guys are up for it as well. If you're excited for me reuniting with everyone, be sure to give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, this is Peter saying see you later.